Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight is What's for Dinner Wednesdays. So these will be coming off often on Wednesdays just to show you guys some vegan meals we're going to have. Um, we're making lentil sloppy joe. We got lentils and garlic, um, tomato sauce, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, chili powder, brown sugar, um, some vegan Worcestershire sauce. I hope I said it right. <laughs> um, ketchup, mustard, you know, the whole nine. And some veggie broth that we're going to put in a pan together. We're going to make some vegan lentil sloppy joes. These are pretty good and I enjoy making them. Didn't take very long. I'm going to also cut up and dice up some bell pepper and onion. And fry that up. First saute that first. Um, I don't remember where I got this recipe from. So I'll have to look and see if I can find it. And if I do, I'll insert it in there for you. All right, so I'm going to start by heating up a little bit of grapeseed oil. A little goes a long way, so there's no need to fill that pan up. Um, if you love oil, do you? All right, um, I've diced up the onion and bell pepper. I'm going to try to put this in the skillet. Trying to do this with one hand is a chore. So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the fact that it's in the pan, y'all. It made it in there. I couldn't do it with one hand. Sorry and sorry. All right, so I'm going to saute up these onions and bell pepper. Um, get it real nice and softened so that way I can then add in some garlic and a little water and veggie broth. So, and then I'm also adding in the lentils. Um, these are brown lentils and I do rinse mine off. Um, some packages say you don't have to rinse them off, but I did rinse mine off prior to putting them in there. So I'm putting them in and I'm going to add some water and then also add the veggie broth to this mixture so we can start cooking those lentils to soften them up. I've heard that if you do this first, it helps the lentils to soften more. So that way when you eat them, the they don't they're not super hard. I made this before with um just not boiling the lentils first, and the lentils were still a little crunchy, so be mindful. So I've now added the veggie broth, added in my garlic, um, some minced garlic, um, I think about a tablespoon again. I'll see if I can find the recipe that I used to make this. Um, but it turned out very, very good, very, very good. So now I'm going to let that simmer for just a minute and kind of cook down those lentils to soften them up. And then we'll move into adding the other ingredients. I'm going to cover these and then set a timer for I think about 25 minutes is what it calls for. And let those cook down again to soften um, the lentils up for us. And then once those are done, then we can add in all the other ingredients that we saw, the uh, ketchup and bell peppers all oh, not bell peppers y'all know what I mean bear with me y'all see that how I cooked out all the water that was in there you don't see much of that left in there and that was the point of putting the lid on it to kind of like soften the lentils and the onions and bell pepper just a little bit more and then I can start adding now I'm adding in the tomato sauce and then the um, tomato paste and then I'm going to stir that in I have now learned that um, my scooper, the red one that I use for a lot of my cooking, actually gets down into my tomato paste pan just a little bit better. Um, here I'm using a butter knife, you know, foolish me, but next time, next time, I'll learn, I'll learn as I go, i learn as I go. I'm going to take and I'm going to mix that in there and then I'm going to add in all the red stuff. So I'm going to add in the ketchup as well, take and mix that up. And then we'll add in um, the other ingredients. Now that I've got all the reds in, I'm going to add a little brown sugar. And I just um, put a little water in it to, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm saying melt in my head, but it's not melt, but to uh, mix together so that way I can put it in. But the brown sugar gives it, it cuts the tartness of the tomato sauce and helps to give it a little bit more flavor. So I'm using a little brown sugar in the mixture. And then I'm going to mix those together in the pan, combine it all together so that way I can get a nice uh, uh, sloppy joe look to it. So I'm going from these brown beans, like it would with ground beef, but they're lentils. 
to now my red mixture that looks like sloppy joe. So it's lentil sloppy joe as we called it. Now that that's all combined together, I'm going to add in some of my seasonings. So just a little bit of uh, chili powder in the mix. And then we're going to add in some vegan Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I don't know if I say it right, but it's vegan sauce. That's what I'm going with. You guys read the label. You tell me what it's called. If anyone can help me pronounce this the right way, definitely feel free to drop in the comments and tell me how to say this word right. Worcestershire. I have never said it right ever in my life, so I don't know if I'm going to start now. All right, now that I got the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce in, I'm going to add a little mustard to the mix. Um, and a little with the mustard goes a long way. Again, it helps to bring out that flavor to make you think you are literally eating sloppy joe from the can mixed with your ground beef, but not ground beef. All right, I'm going to mix that all up together and get ready for the final ingredient that goes in here. It does call for a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I use organic apple cider vinegar. I've always used this vinegar um, ever since I've known about it here over the last five, six years that I've been using it. Um, the apple cider vinegar with, vinegar with the mother in it and it just adds that extra hint of flavor that you need in there. We're going to mix this all together, um, combine it up, put the lid back on it and just let it um, cook together for about another um, five or 10 minutes. And then we should be ready to plate it and enjoy some lentil sloppy joe. I don't know about you guys, but it looks so good already. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Can't wait to taste it. So while the lentil sloppy joe is cooking together, all the flavors I just added, I'm going to get my fries together um, and I'm going to use the air fryer. This was a, um, I didn't want to deep fry my fries. I like cooking them in the air fryer. They cook pretty quickly and they'll be done at the same time the sloppy joe is done. So it works out for me. So I don't have to spray my um, air fryer with any oil or anything because the prepackaged fries do have a little oil in them already. Sorry for the camera not focusing, guys. I was trying to do it all with one hand. Um, I got people helping me somewhere in here, but it, it yeah, it didn't work out that time. So I'm going to set the temperature to 400 because the bag says so. Um, a lot of times the fries now have a um, timer on the back. Um, in temperature, so I use their recommended temperature and time to fry them up. The sloppy joe is all done. It looks good, y'all. I wish y'all could taste it through the camera. Mmm, it smells good. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to plate this and let you guys see. And I might even taste it for y'all on camera. Who knows? Who knows? We shall see. So I'm just uh, making sure nothing, none of it stuck or scorched to the bottom because, you know, cooking on an electric stove sometimes can be a bit challenging um, because you can't really tell the heat temperature and if it's getting away from you or not. But look at that nice combina combination. Can't talk because I'm excited about what I'm about to enjoy. All right. Now the um, fries should be almost done as well. Once they come out, I'm going to... Um, Get ready to enjoy this. All right, so I got my bun out and I'm ready to top it with my lentil sloppy joe. Look at that, y'all. Just yummy. Again, one hand in it, but it was necessary. It was necessary. Uh, I believe my husband, who was helping me record, maybe somewhere in the back with my daughter hanging out with her. But this is my sloppy joe sandwich. And then we got our fries. I um, seasoned them with a little bit of seasoning salt and plated them up. And I decided to actually top off the fries with a little bit of Sloppy Joe as well. Look at it, y'all. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dig in. It looks so delicious. And it tastes delicious. So this is my plate all ready to go. And I'm going to do a taste test here for you. Let's see if the verdict is out on it. Is it good, y'all? Is it good? Hmm. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's yummy. I did that. I'm proud of myself.
These fries are bomb too. Hope y'all enjoy it. Until next time, be blessed and less stress. Shanti speaks. Bye.